All right, our next guest is Ruth Milstein, and she's the author of Cooking with Love, Ventures into the New Israeli Cuisine, and it's available on Amazon.com and also her website, RuthMilstein.com. Hi, Ruth. Welcome to Eat, Drink, and Be Merry. How are you? Hi, Lisa. How are you? Oh, good, good. You're also on the line with Nancy. Who's, Hi there. Hey, she's Hi, Nancy. my partner and my mom and my boss and, and all of it. <laughs> oh, this is great. I get to be the boss. I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, she's the cool. mother. She's the mother. Absolutely. Okay, so it's RuthMilstein.com. Now, okay, new Israeli cuisine. All right, what is that compared to Israeli cuisine? What can, you know, just explain to your average American who's listening that may go, what is that? First of all, it's fresh. It's nothing from boxes. Fresh vegetables, fresh fruit, uh, chicken, uh, fish, uh, meat. We trim all the fat. And we mix um, poultry with the vegetable, poultry with the uh, fruits. We improvise different uh, type of um, recipes. And mm -hmm. still, we get all the nutritious. Every meal, we get the carb, the vegetable, and the protein. And okay, so every, okay, well, let's back up here. Yes. So you're saying it's really a lot of, you, you, number one, fresh is, is key for you. Fresh is key. Okay, and then vegetables. You're 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 always having a vegetable and a protein put together. Uh, yes, why not? I use I use a lot of spice and herb, which is available in every market. Uh, fresh. I usually I don't use really dry one. I use. Oh, okay. So it's it's you're using more now, of only round in every market. Okay, so not the dry, not the dry. No, spice. I don't use the dry. But if it happens that you don't have the fresh, you can use the dry exactly half of the amount of the fresh. If the recipe calls for one teaspoon, use only half teaspoon of dry because it's, it's concentrate. Oh, okay. So, okay. okay, so the fresh is, that's right. You know what, I've noticed that. If I use rosemary, yes. you know, the, yeah, you end up using, yeah, you only use half because it is more pungent mm -hmm. um, when mm -hmm. you're using the dry because mm -hmm. it is. It's, constant, it's like dried fruit versus mm -hmm. your, your fresh fruit. And now uh, we don't use a lot of fat. We use a lot of olive oil, virgin olive oil. And instead of fat, we use ginger and garlic and cinnamon. And uh, I cook a lot with wine. Oh, good. Yes, a lot with wine. And the wine uh, evaporates so children can eat it. Now, what you know, and when you say new Israeli, what regions are we talking about? What area? Uh, Israel is very small. It's smaller like uh, New Jersey, smaller than New Jersey. And all is really the same. It's, uh, I was uh, born and raised in Tel Aviv, which is in the center of Israel. Okay. But in the north, we eat exactly like in the south or uh, in the center. So do you grow any of your own vegetables? Uh, I grow just the spice. The, the herbs, yeah. Like, the yeah, the herbs and all this stuff, yes. So what got you into writing about the, the writing a whole cookbook. I mean, is this were you always cooking as a child? Uh, encouragement from my mother, curiosity. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I was raised in a very big house with a big backyard, and uh, I was always curious what my mom was doing in the kitchen, and she encouraged me. How important is color when you cook? Do you very put a lot important? Of very important. When I made salad, I made it colorful. All the all the all the papers. I mean, if it's uh, yellow and red and orange and uh, on green onion and whatever you like, just put it there. Colorful, it's healthier. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if I'm going to throw a holiday party and I'm going to have uh, Jewish people there and I'm going to have mm -hmm. Christian people there, mm -hmm. what would I serve that would make everybody, oh, everybody happy? Right, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, I think the beef chunk with red wine. Marinating. You can cook it ahead of time and then oh, yes. just warm it up. It always two days ahead. Okay. okay, so that would take care of everybody would be happy now. Everybody would be happy. And there is another thing, because, because the time of the year, there is kumquat available. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of recipe of chicken in orange with, uh, orange juice with kumquat. I know we're going to be publishing your recipe for rack of lamb on a bed of mashed potato and turnip. Turnip. 
See, now a lot plan. of us turn away from turnip, but now I know. how are you cooking the turnip? The, the turnip, I boil it like a, you boil potato, but shorter uh-huh. time. And uh, instead of to mash it, I cut it in a very small cube. Okay. I use a lot, a lot turnip and parsnip instead of potato. Mm-hmm. And it's Are they healthier? Much healthier. Much healthier. Do healthier. you peel them? Yes. Okay. Yes, I okay. do. Yes. Now, in, in the beet and apple salad you use with a yogurt dressing, is that is the yogurt um, something you use a lot of in your I cooking? I use a lot of yogurt instead of all the cream. Ooh. Well, I think the apple and the beet, that's a combination that you don't always think yeah, of here. Yeah, it's beautiful for the holiday, like flower. Right, yes. absolutely. And the lamb, I, I don't bake the lamb. Instead, to bake it for 45 minutes at least, it will be found. And it's tastier. When it sautés, much tastier. Much tastier. Huh. And I marinate it night before. So you like to marinate things. I like to marinate, soaking. yes. And when I marinate, I marinate it with healthy things, with ginger, with olive oil, with um, freshly ground pepper, with rosemary, thyme, all the spice. A lot of, I use a lot of garlic. Mm-hmm. And after the marinade, I cook it together instead of oil, so I don't need so much oil. And right. if you saw the mashed potato, there is no milk and no mm-hmm. butter there. I like that. I like that. Now, and this is really a, easy to eat, very easy to make, very easy to make. I want to ask you if right now during the holidays, we always ask our chefs this, what are three ingredients that you could not live without during the winter and the holiday season? Oh, one of them is uh, kumquat. <laughs> I cook okay. in the winter a lot with kumquat. End of the season, I buy a lot of kumquat and I freeze it. So I have wow. it all around. Mm-hmm. And the uh, uh, chicken breast. I use a lot of chicken breast. Wow. Yeah. Everybody is so different in this. It's interesting. It is. It's really, interesting. really interesting. Now, I want to congratulate you because I heard that you're winning some awards already with your I book. I won already. Yeah. Huh? I won oh. already. I you won. Yeah, yeah, you won. You won. It's you, a beautiful book. No, she won the cooking, the cooking with love. The, the Gourmand World Cookbook Award for 2009. I won it uh, in Israel. Yes. And it's um, I. My book is going to be. I be qualified for the next uh, Gourmand Best in the World competition. Mm-hmm. Excellent. It's in uh, February. It's going to be in Paris. Well, congratulations on that. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. It's a beautiful book, and and I love that you have photos in there so you can see. And, you know, that's what we were talking about, the color of food. Mm -hmm. Your food looks so vibrant that it's exciting. And and we were talking at the very beginning of the show about Mm -hmm. when you sit down to a meal, Mm -hmm. it should be a conversation piece where you think about where the food came from. Yes, it's true. Well, I hope that your book will try to bring Americans back to the family dinner on a a more constant basis because I think one of the things that's wrong in this country is we got so busy Mm -hmm. that we forgot that our family comes first. Thank you so much for joining us, Ruth, and congratulations again on winning in Israel and, and now, you know, going for you know, the World Cup of Cooking. That's what I'm calling it. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Lisa, for having me on your show. Oh, it's be- wonderful. And everybody, um, Cooking with Love is it's available on Amazon.com, and it's actually called Cooking with Love Ventures into the New Israeli Cuisine, and it's available on Amazon.com. And also you can go to Ruth's website and can watch her um, actually cook. She's got some great videos on there, and it's RuthMilstein.com, and it's M I L S. T-E-I-N. Thanks so much, Ruth. Thanks, Thank Ruth. Thank you, Lisa. Okay. Have a good holiday. <laughs> Same to you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.